Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In today's video, we'll be adding and subtracting decimal numbers. And just a reminder, all around the world we use two different decimal separators. We use a comma and we use a point. And because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use a decimal comma as a decimal separator. It doesn't change any other rules. The only difference is I use a comma where you may use a point. So now that that's out of the way, let's start with today's video. So let's start with adding decimal numbers. For addition and subtraction, I'm going to have an easier and a more difficult example. So let's start with this easier example. We have 4,25 plus 3,43. So the first thing you do, like a normal addition sum, you're going to write them neatly underneath each other. When you're writing down the decimal numbers underneath each other, make sure that the place values also line up. And an easy way to make sure that all the place values are underneath each other is to look at the decimal separator, in this case, the decimal comma. If the decimal commas are in line underneath each other, all the other place values around the comma will also line up. And now, we know we need to add those two together. And lastly, we have our two lines. And remember, just like normal addition, when we add, we start at the right and then we work our way towards the left. And the last thing I want you to notice is that our decimal separator stays in line. So when you write your comma in your answer line, it's going to be exactly underneath your other commas. And now we can start adding. So we start at the hundredths. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Next we have the tenths. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then we have our comma already that's underneath our other commas. Then we move on to the ones. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So 4 comma 2 5 plus 3 comma 4 3 is equal to 7 comma 6 8. So just like that, you have the answer and it's quick and easy. So let's try another one. Here we have 12 comma 8 plus 6 comma 3 5. So the first thing, we write them underneath each other so that our decimal separators line up. And now we know that our place values will be lined up correctly underneath each other because our decimal separator, in this case the comma, is lined up directly underneath each other. We know we need to add these two decimal numbers and then remember your two lines. And now, before we write down our comma, there's just one last thing. When we have a decimal number, we can add a zero at the end of the decimal number without changing the value of the decimal number. So 12,8 is exactly the same as 12,80. And the same rule counts if you add a zero in front of a number. 0, 06,35 and 6,35 is exactly the same. We didn't change the value of the number by adding a zero in the front. So now it doesn't look that random anymore. So we can just go ahead and add our two decimal numbers starting from the hundreds. And again, just the last thing, we know that our comma should be directly underneath the other two commas. So now that we have our comma in the answer line, we can start. And we start with the hundredths. 0 plus 5 is 5. 8 plus 3 is 11. So you write down your 1. You carry over your 1 like you would do in a normal addition sum. 2 plus 6 is 8. Plus that 1 you carried over is 9. And lastly, 1 plus 0 is 1. So 12,8 plus 6,35 is equal to 19,15. 
So if you want to practice adding decimal numbers a bit more, you can just check out in the description box below. You can go and download a worksheet with a memo to go and practice adding decimal numbers. So now let's move on to subtracting decimal numbers. So for our first example, we have 24,45 minus 11,32. Now exactly the same as our addition and exactly the same as a normal subtraction sum, we're going to write them underneath each other with our place values in line. And again, to make sure our place values are in line, we check the decimal separator, the comma. If they are in line, we know that all our other place values are also in line. So the next thing is we're going to subtract and we also need our two lines for our answer line. And remember, just like addition and just like normal subtraction, we're going to start right and we work our way left. And lastly, exactly the same as the addition for the subtraction, the comma and the answer line is also going to be exactly underneath our other commas. And now that we have that, let's start subtracting. So first we have five minus two. Five minus two is three. And now we move on to tenths. So we have four minus three, that is one. We move on to the ones. Four minus one is three. And lastly, we move on to the tens. Two minus one is one. So 24,45 minus 11,32 is equal to 13,13. And now let's move on to our second example. Here we have 23,35 minus 8,26. So first we write them underneath each other with our commas and our decimal place values aligned. So we know our place values are aligned because our commas are aligned. And now we're going to subtract. And also remember the two lines for our answer and we already know that our comma for our answer is also going to be directly underneath our two other commas. And lastly, before we start subtracting, we also already know that we can add a zero in front of a number without changing the value of the number. So we know we can fill up this space with a zero. And now it's easier to work with. So let's start subtracting. So first we have five minus six. Now you can't subtract six from five, so we're going to have to borrow from the three next to the five in the tenths place value. So we are borrowing from the three, so that becomes a two now, and the five becomes a 15. So now we have 15 minus six, and 15 minus six is nine. Now we move on to the tenths. Two minus two is zero. We move on to the ones. Three minus eight, again, you cannot subtract, so you're going to have to borrow from the two. So there is one left, and the three becomes a 13. So now we have 13 minus eight, and 13 minus eight is five. And now we have one minus zero, and that is one. So 23,35 minus 8,26 is equal to 15,09. And again, if you want to go and practice subtracting decimal numbers, there will be a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just go and download it. So just again, don't forget about the worksheets and the memos in the description box below. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.